Hey friend, Kristen here. I hope you are ready to sweat and stretch. I have an awesome power flow ready for you. Now listen, you can do this in the morning. You can do this in the evening. If you just need to kind of decompress, get all the wiggles out. This is going to be great for any time of the day. Um, If you are not warmed up yet, Uh, I recommend that you do a couple of sun salutations. You can pause it. We're going to do some together. You can pause it and continue that. Uh, Make sure you're nice and warm for this practice, and we are going to get right into it. All right, go ahead and hop on your mat. We're going to start in mountain pose at the top of your mat, letting those feet come right underneath the hips. Nice, energetic breath as you bring those palms overhead. Good. Bring those hands to heart. Drop the shoulders. Bring the thumbs towards the chest feeling strong, feeling um, rooted and grounded, feeling light and tall. Take one more big breath here. Good. Just giving yourself this time and space to just let go of the world for a few moments to recharge your batteries, strengthen your body, strengthen your mind. So go ahead again. Take another big breath right here, hands overhead. Bring those hands to your chest this time. Hinge at the hips, nice flat back. We're going to take a dive into that forward fold. Beautiful. Lift those hips. You can wiggle those knees if you'd like. So like I mentioned, I am going to take you through a little bit of a warm-up. I'll invite you to pause if you want to continue to warm up a little longer than me. And then we are going to get through a fun sequence and a nice long stretch at the end. So go ahead, my friend, and step back into your plank pose. I want you to feel strong in your plank. Your strong plank can look like mine where it is a full plank, knees up, hips and shoulders in line. Your strong plank may look like mine with those knees down, belly drawn in. There's no sway or lifting of the hips. Good. Feeling that pressure as you press away from the mat. Beautiful. From your plank pose, rock into your down dog. So you're going to lift those hips Press back into your down dog. Let the heels maybe pedal one at a time as you bend the knees one at a time. Beautiful. Just take another big breath here. Feel those ribs expand. Big energizing breath. Setting your mind up for this strong practice. Good. Go ahead and look forward. Step to the front of your mat. Lift halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Big sweep to the top, flat back, reverse swan dive. Beautiful. Bring those palms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to start to build some heat. Inhale, reach right back up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. Exhale, fold. Step back into your plank pose. Line up the wrist, elbows and shoulders. And then nice, strong plank. This time we're going to rock forward again, knees up or knees down. Elbows are going to skim the ribs as you fall, fall towards the floor. Or we should say lower towards the floor. Lift the chest. Good. And then come right back through your plank or tabletop and shift those hips. That is your vinyasa flow. You can take those or leave them depending on if you're here for the strength, you're going to take those vinyasas. If you're here for the stretch, you're going to skip the vinyasa and hold that down dog. So let's do that one more time all the way through. Step to the front of your mat. Lift halfway as you inhale and fold as you exhale. Strong flat back. Press through those heels. Reach up all the way. Palms overhead. Hands to heart. Exhale. Inhale. Reach. Big energizing breath. Take up space. Good. Forward fold. Lift halfway. There's your inhale. Exhale. Fold. Step back, plank pose, vinyasa or not. So if you're going for that strength, follow me through that vinyasa flow. If you're going for that stretch, I'll meet you in down dog. Beautiful. Good. So from your down dog, let that right leg lift. We're coming into our three-legged dog. Feel that weight. Uh, Redistribute through the hands and feet left on the floor. Bring that right knee towards your chest. I want you to press the mat away from you as you tuck the chest. the knee in towards the chin. Good. Reach right back up for three-legged dog. And that right knee is going to come to your chest again. Step through to meet the hands. Peeling that right hand off the mat. Find a nice big juicy twist right here. Left hand stays on the floor. Right hand reaches. 
Obviously, you can drop that back knee. This is your practice. Make it yours. Good. Framing that front foot, we just step right back to our plank. Now, you can hold your plank. You can lower to your, through your vinyasa, or you can go right back to down dog. Your practice. Good. Meeting in down, we're facing dog. Go ahead and let that left leg lift. Good. Feel that weight shift. Bring the knee to the chest. Good. Inhale right back up. Feel that core start to really warm up here. Knee to chest. Step through. So right hand stays on the mat. Left hand peels away. Reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. Option to stay with that knee lifted in the back or lower. So strength that's lifted. Stretch, it's lower. Know what you need here today. So good. Frame that front foot. Good. Come back into your forward fold. Right foot steps in, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. Let's go through that one more time. Inhale all the way up. Big breath. Good. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Inhale, reach those palms up again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back, plank pose. Lower on the exhale. Inhale, lift. Of course, you can go to down dog, and we'll all meet there in one more breath. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts. Bring that knee to your chest. Lift the back of the heart up. Three-legged plank. Beautiful. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to chest, step through. Reach that right hand high. So good. Frame that front foot, step back. You can go down dog, you can go plank, you can even go three-legged vinyasa if you're here for it today. There is no shame in your practice either way. Take up space, take up rest, whatever you need. Left leg lifts. Knee to chest. <sighs> Inhale, reach. Good. Knee to chest. We bring that foot all the way through this time. Uh, release that left hand towards the ceiling. Nice. Feeling that energy, feeling that blood flow pick up, the heart rate, the breath. We are here for it. Press that hand onto the mat. Float that right foot in to meet the left. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. This is where I will invite you to pause to go through that flow one more time to get nice and warm. Uh, if you want, just even just want more work, just hit pause. And we'll meet right back here in our forward fold. From forward fold, go ahead and reach those palms overhead. Big breath. Bring thumbs to chest. Exhale. We are adding on. Inhale, reach. Good, bring those hips down as if you're sitting into a chair for your chair pose. Your heels are gonna be heavy, your toes are gonna be light. Now you can stay up high like I am right now. You can also sink down just a little bit and maybe even shift those arms forward slightly. You can even bring them all the way out. I like to flip the palms up. Uh, this just changes the posture for you. Uh, there's a little bit of counterbalance here. So my heels are still light. My, I'm sorry, my heels are still heavy. My toes are still light. My hips are heavy. Take another breath. Your chair pose. You're feeling that core fully engaged here. Reach those hands up. Big breath. You can even come to the tippy toes. Exhale, fold. Lift halfway. Inhale. Good. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and step back to your plank pose. Good. Vinyasa or not, your choice. Lift the chest. Down dog, we're all in down dog now. Right leg lifts. Beautiful, bring that right knee to your chest. Reach that right, uh, right hand high. We're gonna frame the front foot. This time we come all the way up and do our high lunge. Bring those palms overhead. Good, find something to focus on right in front of you. Maybe even right below, like just below eye level. Option, anytime you bring those eyes up, you can even bring the eyes to the thumbs, palms together. This is going to challenge your balance. Decide what you're here for. Are you here for the strength, for the challenge, or are you here for the stretch? Both is perfect. Good. One more breath and your high lunge. 
Nice. We're going to lunge into that front leg. So draining the weight to the heel of that front foot and floating the back, starting with the hands at heart. Now from here in your warrior three, maybe you change the hand stance. You take it into a T. You take it behind you. You can even take it overhead or leave it there if that's where you came from. I want you to find your edges and you're going to play there. We're going to breathe through the discomfort and the wobble. Bend that front knee, step back on the ball of that left foot, reach palms overhead. Good, take the left elbow to that right knee. So we're just building a fun little flow here. So option, you can go full prayer hands. You can also go left elbow and then take that right hand, that top hand to the low back. So you're in like a half bind. Good. Come back to center. Right leg is definitely on fire right now. We are not afraid of it. That's where our strength comes from. Bring the hands around that right foot. Step back. Down dog. Plank. Three-legged vinyasa or no vinyasa. You decide. So good. I want you to have fun. Stay curious. Stay alive on this mat. Always looking for that next level. Good. Bring that left leg high for three-legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Good. Knee to chest again. Exhale. And then step through. So planting that left foot. Reach that left hand. Nice long line of energy from wrist to wrist. Breathe here. So good. Starting to fill that heat. And we are here for it. Frame that front foot. Good. You're going to come into your high lunge now. So go ahead and lift the chest. Good. So really feeling those shoulders stack over the hips. And you can even go slightly back as you lift up through the ribs. It's going to give you a little back bend option. Left knee stays over that left ankle. It's okay if you're wobbling a little bit like me today. Bringing those palms overhead. They can face each other. You can take palms together, pointers to the ceiling. You can look up if you want to challenge that balance. Keep your core engaged here. This is going to protect your low back and keep you from just dumping the weight into the low back. So just breathe. Challenge you to keep the hands where they're at as you come into your warrior three. Float that back foot, even if you just stay here for a beat. Then bring those hands to your heart. Take them out into a T. Maybe take them behind you. Stay curious. Your body's amazing, and it can do some amazing things. So holding that warrior three for two more breaths. Now bend that front leg. We're going to come right back to the lunge, dropping the ball of that right foot. Reach those palms overhead. Right elbow this time comes to that left knee. You can just barely rest it right on top or even to the side, turning the heart out, shooting energy through that right foot, that back leg. Feel all of it. You feel the strength. You feel the fire in your muscles. You feel the stretch. Beautiful. You're stronger than you think you are. You've got one more breath. <sighs> Come all the way back up into your lunge. Fold over that left leg. Sweet release as you step in. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. So good. Nice. So if you want just a little more fire in your practice, I'm going to invite you to go right back through that one or two more times on each side. And I challenge you to do that. Good. So taking those hands overhead, big breath all the way up. Hands to heart. Exhale. Inhale. Let's go ahead and cool it down. Reach those palms up again. Dive forward this time. Exhale. Good. Lift halfway. And fold. Step back to your down dog. You can always flow if you want one more little vinyasa there. Go for it. Good. So we're going to let that right leg lift just for a moment. Feel that work that we have done today. Right knee to right wrist. Sink into your pigeon pose. 
As always, my friend, listen to your body. If this variation of pigeon is not yours, try a seated pigeon. So your left foot comes forward, right ankle comes to that left thigh. You can stay right here. This is perfect. Going to feel the heart rate steady. Feel the breath steady. Notice, and I hope and I pray that after that practice, your thoughts are slower and quieter and further in between each other. And I want you to relish in that free space. A lot of times when we move, we get to our edges, we're so focused on this breath and this movement, our mind starts to slow down and open up space, free space. So allow a sense of ease and peace to just take up space in your mind. Beautiful. So from here, we're going to come back to our downward facing dog. Take some time here to kind of unwind from that. You can go three-legged dog. You can bend the knee. You can open the chest. Good. And we're just going to switch sides. Left leg lifts just for a beat, bringing that left knee to left wrist, sinking that right hip down towards the floor. Take your time. Find your edges. You can stay upright. For those of you that practice regularly, you kind of know where you can go from here. You can come to the elbows. You can spread it all the way out and bring the chest to the floor. Just find what works for you, what feels good for you today, not what you did yesterday, what you were able to do three years ago or whatever. Just find what you need in your body today and respond to that. One more big breath here. And we'll meet one more time in our downward facing dog. So good. Go ahead and drop to the knees. Bring the hips down to the feet, or you can come into a cross leg position. Let's take a couple breaths together. Place one hand over your belly and one hand over your heart. And let's breathe three deep breaths together. So inhale. And exhale. Let's do it again. Slower this time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the heartbeat against your palm. Being reminded that's your purpose. Feeling the breath move in and out of your chest and belly. That's your purpose. You're still breathing and your heart's still beating. Just remembering God's not done with you, with your story yet. Good. When you're ready, we're just going to take those palms overhead, breathing in a deep breath, nice Slow, long inhale. Bring those palms to prayer and to your heart. I'm so thankful that you practiced with me today. Um, I pray God's blessings, his peace, his grace upon you. Um, And it's such an honor to be here with you. Thank you. Amen. I hope you feel as good and energized, maybe a little bit sweaty, as I do. I'm so grateful that you practiced with me. If you love these types of power flows, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and you have that alert bell on because we are going to be releasing more just like this. Uh, Feel free to invite a friend to come and practice with you. Until next time, thank you so much. So you've rolled up your mat and you've taken care of your body, but are you taking care of your mind and your heart? In a season where I found myself completely overwhelmed and anxious, with day-to-day life, I recognized that something was missing. And that something was daily routine and self-care and love. 
So over the next few months, I began to build new habits, a new routine, and some consistency that really brought life back into my heart, into my mind, and into my body. And I wanna share that with you. Head on over to dailysoulcare.com and grab your free copy today.